All right, welcome back. Video three, that's right, three. Hope you enjoyed the hot sauce in the intro videos. You know, you can check them out on the channel if you missed them. But uh, what are we creating today? It's a world of organization. We redid our basement recently, and with that, we had to tear out everything, including the closet where I keep all my camping gear. And ever since then, kind of everything has been stored in the garage. It's finally ready to start bringing everything back into the basement and start putting things away so that it's easy easy and convenient to start packing this summer when I start planning backpacking trips and camping trips and run home last minute pack real quick as I am prone to do. So anyways, we are going to pull all the camping stuff out of the garage, maybe organize the garage a little bit to get it ready for further organization and you know, bringing stuff back into the house, but also get all the camping stuff organized together right next to the closet and then we're going to organize the closet. Yeah, exciting, exciting video. Stick around. But I'm going to show you how I organize everything thing and why I keep it the way I do. Hopefully that is useful to you in some form. Essentially, you're gonna be creating the ideal camping storage setup in the basement for the first time since it's been remodeled. All right, we're all set to start working on the garage. Got my water bottle, got the music queued up and ready to go. Let's get this time lapse started. I also read somewhere once along the line, the meaning of the word create came from the meaning of organize. The create means to organize matter into a different, newer form. I think there's some religious background to that meaning. So probably doesn't look more organized to you, but it feels a lot more organized to me and that's kind of the important part. So we got all the camping gear here laid out. So I'm gonna take that in and organize that, put all that in the closet, talk about kind of what we got and why we store it the way we do, and then kind of organize this into more distinct areas. We got all the Goodwill portion. It's gonna go to Desert Industries. Stuff that just belongs, different parts of the basement kind of stacked up. Hopefully start moving that all in and you know, get even more organized. That's the goal here but uh yeah so step one finished all right we've made our way inside part two we gotta put all of this stuff into the closet here get that all organized set apart you know looking nice neat collected fancy so it's easy to access when we're ready to go next week we're going to las vegas we gotta be able to pull stuff out you know even for day hikes it's good to you know kind of look in see what we got take inventory or big backpacking trips make it easier to access i do keep the paddle boards usually not in this closet i kind of keep them in their own space so they're easier to access for their own purposes they're pretty cumbersome for a closet very small though compared to the actual rigid paddle boards but uh, yeah. Right, that go around was much quicker, much easier to kind of organize a few things once you've kind of got them all ready to go. So yeah, this is currently the setup. I put all the sleeping bags up on the top shelf because they're kind of lightweight. They're out of the way. They're probably the bulkiest thing we've got here, but the lightest. So I kind of have it coordinated from like heaviest on down, the thickest, hardest to carry, um, and also temperature wise, the gratings on all of them. We got like a 40 degree Coleman bag here. We got it like the grocery store that is honestly probably my favorite of the bunch. It's super comfortable, great in the summer. Um, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's like just what you need. The problem I ran into is it was just a little too big for backpacking and the pack that I got. And so we went to Smith and Edwards and got this 20 degree backpacking bag on sale. It was super cheap and it's a lot smaller. It fits in the pack real nicely. And so I kind of have that in there as, you know, it's a lighter one, better temperature one, so it's kind of in the middle, but it's also, all oh, these were already there and that one can go on top because it's smaller. You know, you might be like my mom 
question, why do you need so many sleeping bags? Biggest reason is temperature differences, scenario differences. If you're car camping, you might want something more comfortable. You know, it depends on who you got with you. If you got friends that aren't used to camping as much, you can share with them as well. So that's kind of the idea there. And then step down, I've kind of got like my sleeping and other accessories, just random stuff here. So we've got like a little camping pillow that I always take with me, um, an inflatable air mattress. You just kind of blow it up and it saves a lot of space for a ground pad. You don't have to take a big foam one. This is a sleeping bag liner. I got an REI and it helps me stay a lot warmer. If you're anything like me, you hate the cold, you're freezing. I am the biggest baby. And so camping was always kind of rough for me. But last summer during the pandemic, I was like, you know what, we gotta get out, we gotta start doing more stuff. And so I'm kind of gonna get over this. And so I knew that that was a weakness for me, that I hated cold. So if we're gonna start backpacking into some of these semi-snowy areas, so even in June, there was a little bit of snow left. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna be warm and I'm gonna get a sleeping bag and a sleeping bag liner that adds like 20 degrees. And it, it made a difference and it, I slept great, perfectly. So if you wanna get into stuff, kinda know what your weaknesses are and where you need to prioritize and plan for that. That's a big thing that I learned last summer. And I kinda just got these random bags here. I got all my dry bags for paddle boarding down here. Just better place to store them than my room, kinda with all the other outdoor gear here. This is not a waterproof bag. It's just kind of, I think they're ditty sacks is what they call them. I got a pack of three at REI for like 20 bucks or something. And they just help you stay organized, especially when you're backpacking. You can kind of just keep different things in different areas. And I've already kind of designated some of the other ones to different things. They came in three different sizes. The next step down is this yellow one. I've kind of designated my cooking stuff. So I've got my tiny little camping stove here. You know, this is just full of fuel, and then there's a little thing in here that you just screw onto here, and it sits like this and just burns, and cooks your food. And so I've kind of designated this as my food sack. This over here is actually something I haven't used yet. I bought it last summer in anticipation doing some more car camping with the paddle boards. A camping shower, basically. It sets up like this. You fill the whole bag up with water, and it looks just like that. And then you pump on it like that, and then it's got this little shower nozzle, like the things out of your kitchen sink. And you can leave it on, and it keeps going. The pump is to apply pressure, so you don't have to sit there holding it over your head or anything. So I'm excited to hopefully use more of that this summer. We got a water filter for backpacking. You know, keep it clean, can't kind of keep it separated. It's its own thing. Sometimes we'll even take that on day hikes. And then two little old Boy Scout mess kits. One of them is a leftover. One of them is one I got this summer. The bag kind of broke and I got my little titanium silverware. And this is the other ditty sack that I usually keep in my day bag when I pull it out for you guys. But because it's the smallest one and it's red, this is where I keep all of my first aid kind of gear or anything. I might need um, for a quick fix on the trail. You know, I've got stuff like band-aids and stuff whatnot in there, but I've also got little hand warmers and everything because I get cold. I've kind of put all that stuff into there and I always keep it in my day bag usually. Day bag, that brings us down to our next shelf here. Bulkier stuff that I get to, but not a ton. So I got a backpack here, a backup backpack we got for free. I might use for more camping this year. I had this exact same one because we got two of them for free last summer and I kind of destroyed it. I was kind of rough on it. We kind of went through this zipper started failing me, but I had it for free. And so I didn't need to go out and buy, you know, a $120 bag. So this year I did go buy another bag, that GoPro Day Tripper. I'll talk about that in a minute. But I've also got my Rook 65 liter Osprey bag here. This is my backpacking backpack I got last summer. Osprey's fantastic. This is my first time really backpacking outside of Boy Scouts last summer and it was phenomenal. I did a lot of cool ones for Utah. Um, we did Kings Peak, Twin Peaks over here on the Wasatch Front. It was kind of like a bucket list one because it's kind of right in front of our house that I've wanted to do for forever. And then we did Pfeiffer Horn overnight as well. So hoping to get a little more use out of that this year, but we did a lot of fun stuff with it. Going down a shelf, we just got these old pads. Again, they're kind of big and clunky like the sleeping bags. So I just put them down here to keep them out of the way more so. But again, in case anyone comes with us or anything, they're nice to have. They're kind of old, so sometimes we double up. We're going car camping or something. So I was sick of carrying those around on my backpack. And so that's why I upgraded and bought this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. The Wellax, I can't remember if it was 20 or 30 or what it was, but it was competitive and I sleep great. It's just a little thin thing that you blow up like a balloon and then you sleep on that. And and so some of the stuff I keep in my day bag normally. I just recently got the GoPro Day Tripper because my other one, like I said, was falling apart. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hope I can get some good footage. It's got the GoPro mount on the front. I can hook my camel back up to it, whatever. Camera storage. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put stuff in here. I got usually a pocket knife, kind of a headlamp, all the stuff like that that you need. Pocket knife, headlamp, extra chapstick, 
I have super bad allergies, so I got the Kleenexes, that first aid kit, toilet paper, because if you're out on the trail and you need to go, it's nice to have something. I usually keep some binoculars in here, and so some of this stuff I kind of just keep in there so I don't have to have it all packed away, so it's kind of just ready to go. That's how we create organization. So I hope you had fun organizing my world today with me. Hopefully this inspired you a little bit to kind of get in the zone, get your stuff together, you know, pack it so it's all nice and so it's easy to go get up when you're ready to go when you find that next adventure that you want to go on. Going forward, we are going to Las Vegas. So we're going to try and do a little bit of paddleboarding, a little bit of hiking, kind of get you some more info. But then also I was thinking I'm going to start doing some series on different hikes in Utah and different places to paddleboard. Now that we're kind of getting into that season, we can start doing all that again. And the best places in the Salt Lake area in Utah generally to do all of that in my experience with them and share it with you. So if you're looking forward to that, let me know what hikes you kind of want to see or have been thinking about or you want to come do. Let's do some hikes together. Let's do something. Hit me up at Chris Creates the World on Instagram. That's a good place to reach me. I check it every day. You can comment here on the video and we can link up somehow that way. But yeah, let's go hiking. Let's go paddle boarding. Let's do something. Have some fun. Thanks for watching. If you had fun, if you enjoyed, if you laughed or if you learned anything, you know, subscribe. That would be awesome. Give a thumbs up, whatever. But yeah, hopefully this brought something to you. Go create the world.